This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're having a really good day. I just returned from my uh, vacation. I spent a week in uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. And in this video, I explore the Quinta Gameros Mansion and Gallery. If you ever go to Chihuahua, Mexico, or any community in Mexico, make sure to stay specifically in the downtown areas. In the colonias, out in the uh, poor neighborhoods, uh, there are issues, and it's uh, problematic to visit those uh, neighborhoods. But in downtown Chihuahua, no problems at all. I had a fantastic time. I photographed quite a few uh, beautiful buildings, and I went to some fantastic restaurants, and my wife and I enjoyed dancing uh, near the cathedral in the plaza. What a fantastic, fantastic community. Here are some photographs I captured of the exterior. Again, it's an opulent building. It's amazing uh, how nice a house you can have if you're a corrupt politician in Mexico in the early 1900s. Yes, it was a lavish lifestyle while it lasted. And uh, in a few minutes here, yeah, in about a minute from now, I'm gonna be giving a history lesson on the facility and building and uh, its current uses and how it's been reincarnated over the years to serve different purposes. Uh, you can uh, jump ahead a couple minutes if you find this stuff boring. Again, you can just fast forward uh, and just say, hey Jesus, I don't need this history lesson. Let me just look at the pretty pictures and get some uh, interior design ideas for my own house. Yes, there will be a quiz after this. According to Wikipedia, the Quinta Gameros, Gameros Country House, is a mansion in Chihuahua, Chihuahua. The building is a uh, historic national monument of Mexico. Quinta Gameros currently houses the Centro Cultural Universitario Quinta Gameros, a regional museum of Mexico. The mansion was built for Manuel Gameros Ronquillo, a member of the Porfirian elite, essentially a corrupt politician. Construction started in October 1907 and finished in November 1910, just as the Mexican Revolution was commencing. Gameros and his family fled to the United States in 1913. Afterwards, Francisco Pancho Villa assumed the governorship of Chihuahua and set out to redistribute the property of opposition families, including the Gameros. Quinta Gameros was given to Venustiano Carranza in his personal, as his personal residence and office in April 1914. Following a dispute with Villa, Carranza left the city and the Quinta Gameros would go on to be used for various purposes, during the, and that was during the war. That included as government offices and as a military hospital. In 1921, the government of uh, President Alvaro Obregón uh, returned many of the uh, confiscated properties to their former owners. The Gamero family uh, returned and occupied the residence until 1926, when it was sold to the government of the state of Chihuahua. The state government used the building as tribunal for the state Supreme Court and as offices for the Department of Education. As a result, the building was known as the Palacio de Justicia y Educación Pública. I was joking about the quiz, there will be no quiz. Here's a shot of the first floor looking up to the second floor. Again, it's absolutely gorgeous inside if you like decadent splendor. It's amazing how nice a place you can get if you're a corrupt politician in the early 1900s in Mexico. It's totally, utterly amazing. Of course, he had also a silver mine. So I'm going to be quiet for a little bit and uh, I'm going to have a mix of uh, video and photos. I'll be back in a couple minutes, but right now I'll let you just take a peek at this uh, building and and it's a gaudy, fantastic, over-the-top interior, uh, including stained glass. I'll be back in about a couple minutes.
Yes, I had to say something about these uh, chairs in this uh, child's room. I definitely couldn't sit in that chair comfortably, but it looks nice, like, uh, according to certain standards. And they definitely had to put a peacock at the front of that bed at the footboard. And what do you think of that? Do you like that? Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, this is, again, the child's room. And here's some of the details. I do like that lamp. That's a beautiful lamp. And again, there's a shot of the bed. And here's some photographs. Let me share some photographs with you also. Here's a little bit different angle uh, for all you connoisseurs of uh, decadent, uh, over-the-top furniture. Get a little bit of lens flare there from the window. And there's a little altar. Uh, to protect the child, to protect the family, because uh, we probably have a couple enemies here and there. And there's a detail of one of the chairs, and it's absolutely interesting. And here's some of the carving uh, details. I love this little uh, mirror. I would love to have that in my house. And there's a photograph of myself and my wife behind me taking pictures also. And uh, uh, we enjoyed our time in Chihuahua, Chihuahua. And this is a little uh, area in the uh, house where you can pray. And uh, it's a beautiful little altar. Again, some pieces are very over the top and decadent, but I like this one. This is a very uh, beautiful, beautiful altar. And my wife's a Catholic, and I grew up as a Catholic. And this, uh, this sort of stuff uh, intrigues us and uh, reminds us of our, our uh, churches that we've gone to over the years and cathedrals. Again. I love the detailed work. And this didn't cost uh, just a few pennies. It cost several pennies. And of course, uh, as a corrupt politician, you can earn quite a bit of money taking bribes and doing all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. Here's some details of that bed. I do like this bed a little bit. I would not have that top part, but who am I? I am not a despotic leader. I'm just a working class guy in Fort Worth, Texas, living in the burbs. I'm not a Again, a corrupt politician and uh, earning all kinds of cash and have my own personal silver mine. And uh, here's a photograph. I wonder if that's them. Now let's go into the bathroom. I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes here and let you look at some of the interiors. And again, over the top, gaudy, whatever words you want to use. Please detail them in the uh, description of the video. Again, I'll be back in a couple minutes. This would be a great spot uh, and venue to have a meeting of the Sierra Club or Young Republicans. And uh, all over interspersed uh, in this uh, building are art galleries. They're, they have about a dozen different rooms and they have very unique art uh, on exhibition. Uh, sculptures, uh, paintings, uh, a whole range of student work all the way up to more advanced professional work and of course as I walk around the lights go on and off because they're all uh, motion detecting lights and you'll notice that in this video and of course I'm the floors are quite squeaky again this is an old old building but a beautiful building uh, again uh, I love it I absolutely love it my wife and I enjoy going to uh, you know vintage homes uh, uh, great infrastructure and of course Mexico has quite a few older buildings and uh, institutions that uh, are worth visiting and I really suggest that you go visit Chihuahua Chihuahua and check out some of the buildings and infrastructure again fabulous and there's my wife over there she's taking pictures she's an art historian and head of the art department at the local university here and uh, she studies art and enjoys looking at art be it student art or professional artists you know advanced arts 
or artists, you know, we're just beginning people. So here's some photographs of some of the paintings on exhibit, and I really liked them. Uh, some of them better than more than others. And uh, but this is an interesting selection of images, and uh, I had to photograph it. I liked it. Uh, again, it's up to you what you think. Maybe you like that furniture you saw in the, the child's room. You go, yeah, I like that. I wish I could have that. But other people might say, hmm, maybe not. In fact, it's a bit of a nice one. So what do you think of this sculpture? It's a very unique piece. I really liked it. And uh, I had to take a couple shots of the stained glass windows. Of course, that's one of the pieces in that are so colorful and so beautiful. They bring out the light from the, the outside and, and uh, you know, change it in so many, 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 many ways. And uh, this is another exterior shot of the building. I hope you like my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I need more subscribers. In fact, I could use a couple million, in fact. Here's a, oh, by the way, by the way, there's a restaurant in the back of this building. This is a video about Quinta Gameros in Chihuahua, Mexico, a mansion and gallery. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.